Right, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to use OpenIV and any other mod menu that was supported by the older Scriptalk versions. And also, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade GTA for um, the script hook and everything to work perfectly fine. So what you want to do is head on over to this link. It's going to be down in the description. It's going to take you to this page. And there's going to be two file, uh, two links here. There's one media file, one mega. You can choose whichever one you like. And the file size is 746 megabytes big. So, yeah, it might take you a while or might take you, like, a few seconds, depending on your internet speed, obviously. So what you want to do, go ahead, download them, and then you'll obviously have this right here. And it would have a GTA 5 launcher, GTA 5 the EXE, a Steam underscore API, and an update folder, right? So what you guys want to do, firstly, is go to your um, GTA 5 directory, which is going to be in Steam. Obviously, this is only for Steam version, so yeah, just go where your Steam games are installed. Could be your program files, or it's just wherever you installed it. It could be your um, your hard drive, whatever. So Steam apps, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then obviously your game. GTA 5 right here, don't mind these other folders, these are just um, graphic mods and shit that I've installed, so So yeah, what you guys want to do firstly is back GTA 5 So just create a, um, create a folder, I've just created one right here And pretty much what I've done is backed up these folders, GTA 5 and GTA 5 launcher And um, where is it, uh, steam underscore, I've copied it into this folder which I've called update and I've actually went up here into the folder that's actually called update and I've copied the update.rpf into here so pretty much if anything goes wrong or you guys want to revert back to version 1.40 uh, yeah you guys can just do that all you guys need to do is copy these into the right places and then you're good you're back to the most updated version currently as of today which is the 22nd of um, I don't know which month June so yeah if that's that's if there's any errors and once again this is going back to version 1.39 and um, this supports the l most latest script hook which doesn't work with 1.40 so it only works with 1.39 uh, just stuff like menu the um the simple trainer just all the other stuff that used to work on 1.39 is going to obviously work on this version so yeah obviously it's going to be the same thing just you know, if you don't know how to install uh, script hook and stuff like that, you want to head on over to script hook right here. Just download it. Uh, as you can see, released was um, 9th of April. So hit download. You're gonna get um, this folder right here. Okay. All you're gonna need is the din put 8 and the script hook 5 um, application extension. And then what you want to do is you can get any. Uh, you can search up any other mod menus that worked on version 1.30, uh, 1.39, my bad, and then you can download it, but I use, I personally use menu, I reckon it's one of the best mod menus, so if you guys want, I'm going to leave this down in the description for you guys to get, it's one of the best mod menus in my opinion, so once you guys have that, you know, just, what you guys want to do is, um, just, copy these into here you don't have to copy the readme and then yeah just copy um the script took five and then put eight and then you are set now i'm not sure if i went over open iv um if i if i haven't then i'm just gonna go through it right now i, I don't think i've had oh, i'm fucking retarded right i'm sorry so what you guys gonna do is if you guys have open iv installed and it's uh, updated to the latest version which uh, came out a few days ago because of all the shit that's happening with take two and all that uh, banning quote unquote banning mods or well, it's illegal now so what you guys want to do is head on over to the GTA 5 mods page and search up open IV and then it will say open IV version 2.9 so what you guys want to do is download that you and then you guys are gonna get um, where is it? You guys are gonna get this, right? So what you guys wanna do is just put put all of this in a folder. I've and I've put mine in OpenIV, and just hit this little batch, uh, Windows batch file, and it'll install, go through everything, and then in this little NCS update folder would be your uh, shortcut to open up OpenIV. <coughs> My bad, sorry about that. So what you guys wanna do, um, before you. Before you, uh, what's it called, open up OpenIV, it will automatically ask for you uh, to update it to the latest version, which is 
version 3.0 some shit like that i'm not too sure but what you guys want to do is just head on over to this little icon here you guys might um have it different because of a wireless connection i have a wide connection in so i have this like little lan icon down here so what you guys want to do there is right click open network sharing center go to change adapter settings and disable network device now if i open up open iv it's not going to ask me to update it as you can see it's on version 2.9 the version of that it says it's on right here and yeah there it is open iv works perfectly fine you can do whatever the hell you want and yeah just, um don't just disable the internet and then that's about it and one more thing if you want gta 5 to work with this downgrade i said and um you don't want any crashes and shit happening i suggest you disable it as well and if you do have steam opened in the background you should just exit out of it and then open up gta 5 that way and it'll just go through everything i, I don't know why it just works better this way so I'm going to show you guys that it is on version 1.39 and um, yeah we're just going to wait for this game to load up real quick. See you guys there. So um, it's going to come up here, hang on. Right there at the bottom of the screen 1.39 pretty much how you guys do it if this uh, helped you in any way shape or form share it like the video um all that good type of shit subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Run.